If you think about it, Surging Sparks is going to be one heck of a beast. What's up, low pups? We're in the midst of Stellar Crown. We're in the midst of Paradise Dragona releasing the same day. Paradise Dragona, of course, being the first half of Surging Sparks in Japanese. We have already seen half, pretty much half, a little bit less, if you, you could say less than half, of what Surging Sparks has to offer. Because uh, Paradise Dragona did release five special illustration rares where we're going to have to expect six more because Surging Sparks is going to have 11 special illustration rares. One of them, like, I want to be completely honest, Pikachu is literally going to be one of them. There is no shot Pikachu is not going to be one of them. Uh, it, you know, you don't just put Pikachu in the front like that. It, it just doesn't happen. So Pikachu is definitely going to be another SIR. So we're going to have like six confirmed Pokemon SIRs and we still have five more to go. With what we already know and what we already have, Searching Sparks is a conglomerate of the biggest chase cards of various sets. People have been making the comparison that Searching Sparks is only basically a Vivid Voltage set with just a chase Pikachu. Now the thing is that Vivid Voltage is a set that came pre Alt Arts in Sword and Shield. Before Battle Styles, before Chilling Rain, before Evolving Skies, it did not have any Alt Arts. The only cards it had was the Rainbow Pikachu and the Amazing Rare Pokemon cards, which unfortunately did not make a name for themselves as much as, they, as the uh, uh, Trainer Gallery or uh, I guess uh, Illustration Rare cards have made. So, Surging Sparks already has that benefit going for it. Now, for the other sets that have their chase cards, which are already going to be included in this set, we're going to first start off with Celestial Storm, a set with a Rayquaza. Now, you could say, oh, is Rayquaza being in this set? I know that the first half of Paradise, the first half of Surging Sparks is a dragon set. Is Rayquaza here? No, it's not Rayquaza. And Rayquaza is not the biggest chase in Celestial Storm. The biggest chase in Celestial Storm is a card called Lysia. An almost $300 card beats out everything in Celestial Storm by a mile. And you want to know what Lysia card we're going to have, which we haven't had since that set? Surging Sparks, Lysia's Appeal is going to be a special illustration rare in this new upcoming set. So we have one big boy chase um, from one set into this set as a chase. We already have two cards that were the big chase cards for their respective sets, Vivid Voltage and Celestial Storm. But wait, we still have one more chase card or cards that make up for the biggest chase card of another set, technically. We're talking about the most expensive Sun and Moon set because of short printing called Team Up. And the most expensive card in that set, the big chase card, is of course the Love Birds Latios and Latias GX Tag Team. Now, you know what card we're going to get in Surging Sparks, which has been revealed for a long time. Actually, one of the first special illustration rares revealed. Latias EX special illustration rare with a Latios illustration rare. Where if you pair them up together, they make up a whole picture or painting. So it follows the same, the same technique, the same kind of vibe as the Lovebirds from Sun and Moon Tag Team, or Team Up, sorry. And that basically tells us that we already have three big boy chase cards from three different sets. This set is actually gonna be packed. I also wanted to watch some other cards that I really like. Personally, the Flygon EX Terra Full Art. It has to be the best looking Terra Full Art I've ever seen. Better than the Terra Pagos, better than Lapras, better than, than Greninja. Uh, for a regular Full Art, the Flygon just fits the whole card. It just looks gorgeous. It just looks amazing. You it, like it's, it, Just tell me that you see what I'm seeing right now. We also have an amazing looking illustration card in Skarmory. Skarmory has surprised me. It really is gorgeous. The, the reflection with the steel and the steel vans. And uh, it, it really does look like a, like, a, like a unique art style for a Pokemon card. And honestly, I know Skarmory isn't the most fan favorite Pokemon ever. But I could totally see people getting behind this card alone. Now in Japan, we have been getting the prices for these cards since the release was two days ago. Um, Lysia, let's start with Lysia. The Lysia card, Lysia's EX 
SIR is selling for around 180 to about a $200 mark. Um, of course, the Japanese people do love their um, their uh, 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 full, uh, full art trainer cards. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the of course, you know, to be expected. I honestly was expecting it to be maybe $300. Break that barrier, go crazy with this card because she does have a Hatsune Miku kind of vibe. So by the way, this is the special illustration right here, Lisa's Appeal SAR. And this is the regular full art. So this is the special illustration rare. This is the regular full art. Both of them look great. And the regular full art is going for around a $70 markup. Now, I have said in a previous video that I put Licia at a third place in special illustration rare trainer card full S, you know, trainer cards. So I put Carming first. I put Perrin second. Licia, I believe, is a beautiful card. Does deserve the third place. So Alicia, I could definitely see her being um, a, at least like a, you know, like an 80 to 100 dollar card in English. That's my prediction. All right, now we have the Ladias EX SIR selling for about 90 to 100 dollars in Japan. Uh, this card, of course, be very is going to be very nice with the texture. I do see it dropping in Japan. I don't think it's a good time to buy this. Uh, you know, it, it's a nice card, but Ladias alone isn't crazy. But, you know, if you pair both of Latios and Latias, it, it pretty much just makes the, the Lovebird Tag Team GX uh, chase card. So, the reason why I'm saying the, you know, like, oh, I'm making uh, special exceptions because, oh, like, Latios is here, Latias is here, instead of, say, like, like, saying that there's just one card. Well, the thing is that this set is just, you know, this set just has a lot to it. It's dense. So, dense means that people will want to open it much more it's going to be a pikachu set which is going to attract more eyes this set definitely is justified with the hype it does have a lot going for it uh with what we already with what we know which is only half of it so like imagine we get even crazier stuff down the line for the Pika the rest of the japanese pikachu set well, anyways, little pups, let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you agree that Surging Sparks is justified in the hype that is going right now? Uh, obviously, Surging Sparks is going to be a two times at least way or a way better set than Stellar Crown is. Stellar Crown is pretty much, to me, Stellar Crown is like an incubating period for Greninja. Like, Greninja is still going to be the Supreme King, the reigning king of Special Illustration Rares in Scarlet Violet. Until we get Surging Sparks and maybe the Pikachu, like if Pokemon really goes crazy with the Pikachu, then Greninja's reign will finally fall. I don't necessarily believe Latias is going to take over the reigns of Greninja, but Pikachu might. Pikachu might. If not, heck, Greninja might just keep being the king of Scarlet Violet. That's crazy. But we can't deny that Surging Sparks is going to be an insane set. Uh, it has a lot going for it. A lot of chase cards from different chase sets. And uh, yeah. Let me know again. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you feel like uh, looking into my content more. And uh, let's get on to the next news.